For this video, I will be sewing this outfit. It is a separate shirt and skirt from Supplement 307. This is my finished product. There are some modifications I did make to this outfit, not too many but um, come along with me on the rest of the video and you'll find out what I did. I just finished sewing my bodice mock-up. I'm pretty happy with the fit. I think it could be a little tighter, but um, when you, I sew a zipper in, I know I'm gonna be using more fabric to do that and that will tighten it up a little bit. Or for now, I just sewed it together in the back. I don't know that I'll be able to get out of it by myself. But um, overall, I'm pretty happy with it and I'm pretty confident with moving forward with cutting into my fabric. All right, first shocking revelation of this project. This, this is not a dress. It is two separate pieces. I noticed that when I made the mock-up and wondered why the hell is this shirt so damn long? It's because it's two separate pieces. It's detachable. It's not one dress. <laughs> I feel so silly, but I mean, it's kind of exciting to have a separate um, shirt and skirt. This is the progress I made with the bodice so far. I started with plain cotton fabric, and instead of using the sweater piece, um, I decided just to cut the heart out of the sweater and attach it to the front bodice. Then I sewed a bit of a lining to the bodice so I could wrap it around and then have a little bit of the black showing and just have a nice crisp edge for the collar of the shirt <laughs> um, and that is the progress I've made so far so next up we have the sleeves so the pattern as is is going to be pretty close to the wrist and that's longer than what I want I want it to cut off kind of a little below the elbow and then I will be gathering some tulle fabric to attach to the cuff of the sleeve and I'm going to be using my trusty marker, look in a mirror, figure out where I like the length to be and cut it off from there. Then add the tulle and then I'll be able to move on to the skirt. Um, so I put my black tulle on and I was going to top stitch it down tried it on, looked in the mirror, and it just didn't feel like what I'm going for. And so I am going to seam rip that out <laughs> and try something else. So for the sleeve, I lined it up with a bodice and ended up with a lot of overlap. I posted a question in the Letter Low Facebook group of what to do, and there was a lot of different suggestions, but one said just to cut off the tr excess and that's what I'm gonna do. Having tried it on, it fits just fine. So I'm just gonna cut off this excess and move on. I've completed the shirt. I'm very happy with it. I'm happy with the fit, with the darts, and the back with the zipper. And I've made some executive fashion choices such as getting rid of the ruffles and doing bias tape instead. I'm very happy with the red and black theme going on here because the skirt itself is going to be black. I'm really looking for a crisp, clean look and I feel like I have accomplished that with the shirt. I haven't started the skirt yet, but I have high hopes. So on to the skirt. For gathering the skirt, I chose the method where you sew dental floss in between a zigzag stitch and you pull the skirt over the dental floss and so far it's working I have a bit to go um, but I really like this technique I've made progress on my skirt so it seems longer than the pattern in the picture but I am a little short so that might be why um, to me it looks a little matronly at the length it's at I like to shorten it. Here's my pattern piece. I don't think you can see it, but there is a line. 
thought I drew where I'd like to shorten it and I'm just going to lay the pattern piece on so to keep it as even as possible. But I guess that's just something that happens. <laughs> Everyone's a different height so you can't really account for that. But for me it's just a little too long, looks a little too matronly and so I am excited to adjust it. A few other thoughts on the skirt. Um, I do find the waistband to be beautiful and it came together really well, but I was really, um, timid about the width and so I added a little bit. You can see this is cotton and this is the polyester satin. And so I added a little width cause I was just so afraid this was going to be too short and I wouldn't be able to wear it. And I should have been a bit more confident in the pattern because this was too big and it wasn't resting on my waist where it should have been and it added to the matronly look of it. So, and also I wanted to do one big button instead of two smaller buttons like the pattern showed and it just doesn't work. It pulls too much with just one big button. It didn't feel as solid and secure. So what I ended up doing to shorten it is I sewed a few more buttonholes to the side, um, closer, farther from the center, sorry, and um, two buttons. And this is much more secure and it is exactly as tight as I want it to be. And I think this is where it would have been originally. And my main disappointment in that is I could have gathered the skirt even tighter if I didn't make it longer like I did. Um, I could have just trusted the pattern and been fine. But sewing's all about failing forward and figuring out new solutions, and that's what I've done here, and I'm still really happy with the result. to get this video out sooner. I wanted to work every evening from when I put my daughter to bed till midnight to get this done. But I also wanted to watch one of my favorite shows with my spouse and I realized while sitting next to him that I'll never regret spending time with him. I'll never regret the moments we have and the time we etch out for each other. And that's what Valentine's Day is about. It's about cherishing someone. That someone might be you and learning how to love yourself but it might be a significant other and taking the time for the two of you to love each other. Happy Valentine's Day.